Ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Ink Dependence. It keeps this channel ad free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and this is a new thing from Rickshaw Bagworks. And if this looks familiar, it's probably because you're thinking of this case from Knockco. Now, Brad Dowdy ran Knockco for quite a while and he sort of wound that company up last year in 2021 and it made some really great pen cases and so it left a bit of a void. Uh, Rickshaw also makes pen cases and in a similar kind of style and so I'm glad that this is where uh, Brad has gone and I'm glad that he and Mark are working together on this. I think that's cool. This is my original Knockco Sinclair. Well, I shouldn't say that. This is my favorite of the original Noxo, Noxo Sinclairs that I have. I do have a few because this is a great form factor. Mine is mandarin orange on the outside. It has this nice blue stripe here. And the inside is electric blue, which uh, I really like. You have three pen slots over here, and you have a nice slot over here, which can hold things like your pocket notebooks. This is a story supply, but it's a very standard sort of size. And you can put your pens in there, put your notebook in there, and you have it all together. Or you can throw your notebook in the middle, Pack this side with some fountain pens you don't want to touch. Put your, I don't know, highlighters or, I don't know, flashlight or, uh, I don't know, pocket knife or like whatever you want to in that side and uh, seal it up and you're ready to go. So, the new Nakko and Rickshaw Sinclair Model R is larger in every dimension. It's wider, it's taller, and it's thicker than the original Sinclair. So, if that's going to be a problem, maybe find one of these on the secondary market. But it's not so much larger that I think it's going to really cause problems for folks. You also notice that there are going to be a few differences externally. Uh, one is that you have this nice pocket on the outside, which has a Cordura... Uh, interior and a 1000D Cordura exterior, which is, uh, this is a very, very uh, tough fabric. Like this can really take some beating and I don't think you're gonna see any wear on this. This outside pocket can hold all sorts of things. You can throw your, uh, your pocket knife on there, uh, your favorite torch if you're fancy throw your pocket notebook in behind those. And uh, that's just like stuff you wanna have available at a moment's notice. Or, you know, a tougher kind of like EDC sort of pen, you can throw that on the outside so that those things are available, but you don't have to carry them in your pockets. You can have them all in one sort of contained apparatus. You can also get various things on the outside of this as an option. You can get a belt loop on here. You can get a, uh, a patch field if you want a Velcro patch field. Uh, lots of people are into patches these days. I've only got like one and I sort of switch it between bags. So it's not really a thing I needed, but it seems like it'd be pretty cool. You can get uh, you can get this little lanyard loop put on the back. I like the lanyard loop. I think this is a good thing to have because I have a lot of bags that have O-rings or D-rings inside the pockets or at the top of the bag. So you can kind of like affix them things to the top and they're right there you know at the top waiting for you when you need to get in you just grab the bag and like get your stuff out of it so that's what I'm going to be doing with this little lanyard loop but it might be sort of superfluous for some folks and there are other things you can get on there like webbing loops and other things so there are there are options for this additionally you can have this made in all kinds of different fabrics and I believe like at launch it's probably going to be in a bunch of different fabrics and that sort of thing but you can get the 1000d Cordura that I've got on here you can get an x-pack style sailcloth uh, you can get in-house printed fabric which is like this this. It's got a tighter weave and you can put all kinds of graphics on this sort of thing. I've had things made by my, by, uh, for my brand by Rickshaw and all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, and you can get, uh, and there's like other fabrics and stuff available as well. Now the con custom configurator for this won't be available for a while, I think. Uh, so uh, I've heard the, the Rickshaw website is getting like a bit of an overhaul. And so this might take a little while to be customizable, but I imagine there will be a lot of things available at launch uh, at the San Francisco Pin Show this next weekend, which is the weekend of the 26th of August in 2022. Okay, so on the inside, this one has bright orange, which I mean, Mark must have known this is a thing that I'm into. I'm a big fan of that. So this is a very, very fuzzy fleece interior. So like, just, you know, whatever pins you want to put in here, they're going to be nicely protected in this fleece. And the fleece is on the inside of each of these loops, uh, these little pin slots as well. So it'll be protected on all sides by that fleece. Uh, on this side, you have the same kind of larger pocket, which you could use to put your notebook in. Although I think I'd probably put my notebook on the outside. Yeah, probably so. Or maybe on the in-between. Yeah. This is larger than the original Sinclair so that it could hold the larger 
pen sleeves. I don't have any of the larger pen sleeves. This is a medium sized pen koozie. It's the one I carry all the time. It's a two pen koozie and it holds whatever pens uh, I want to take with me usually, which will be like a fountain pen and a standard pen of some kind. And so it like keeps them right there. And you can just chuck those in the middle of this thing if you'd like. And uh, this will hold this will hold a lot of pens if you want to pack it out that way. It will even hold lo really large pens like this Franklin Christoph Model 50 just uh, goes in there with no problem and you can absolutely close this with that in there. Now there is a zipper that goes around the top and some folks might be a little worried about putting their, their, their fancy precious pens in here without having uh, you know something to protect it. But this seam right here, when you pull this closed is gonna like sort of, it's gonna protect your pens I think. And also this zipper is not aggressive. This is a really good zipper actually. This is the uh, YKK number eight zipper, which is kind of a gold standard in like bag making for a very, very smooth and confident zip. Like this is good stuff, right? Really nice, easy zipper, but it's not gonna fall open or anything. This is, this is some good quality stuff. All right, so take that out of there. So you can put a lot of stuff in here and pack it out however like, however you like. You can fill this cavity in the middle with just like a big handful of standard pens if you want and then put your fountain pens around the outside and your, uh, your pocket notebook here on the outside of this thing. And you can just like take so many things with you. I think some of my friends are really gonna stuff this sort of thing to the gills. And uh, I look forward to seeing, you know, 75 pens crammed in this or something. I don't know how much, how many will actually fit, but I've heard obscene numbers on the original one from some people. So we'll see, we'll see what folks do with it. Uh, if I have one critique, it's probably these zipper pulls are I think too long. They're probably twice as long as they need to be. Uh, and I will probably replace them with something shorter or else just clip it and then make the the knot further down this is just um you know a bit of cord it's not a it's not not hard to alter on your own if you like but these are just a little bit long for me that's really my only negative critique about this little pouch i think it's really nice it's well made fit and finish are going to be great the price comes in at uh uh, $59 for sort of the base model without a bunch of add-ons. I'm not sure what add-ons are going to cost. I don't have that information, but I think it's going to be, uh, I think this is going to be a really popular case in the pin community. So uh, snag one early and snag them often because uh, they're pretty neat, pretty, pretty neat. And I mean, I've had the original knock one for, I don't know. I've probably had this for five years. I don't know. Something, something like that. And you can see no real wear shows on this even after that time and this is a lighter material than what this one's made of so pretty pretty cool all right thank you very much mark for sending this out for me to show to folks folks thanks for watching uh hit that like subscribe i don't know click that bell if you want to be notified of new things and uh, you'll see me in another video coming up soon that's it peace out